Yeah, that was... <clears throat> Excuse me. That was on some level driven by love, perhaps with a better idea not only that, but also the latent potential that human life has as well. Alright, decision point time. Actually, mech customization first. Actually, no, it's decision point, and then I can work with whatever. I'll have another chance for um, level up equipment. So, I have just, after much deliberation and after some suggestions, I have decided I'm going to go with the Gundam Unicorn route, because I want to see this, how this plays out in the end. I imagine you'd be a bit happier now that we finally have the colony laser, Counselor. And I fail, still fail to understand why Amalgam would tell you about it in the first place. After ridding themselves of Anaheim, they most likely needed something to keep the scales in balance, don't you think? I can't see dear Leonard Tesserosa, satisfied with the current state of affairs. Did you try being a little more clear? I'll just say I got the impression that he has his eyes on another prize. I wager just Amalgam is just another piece on his board. Yet another fever dream of a genius. Well, we need not worry about that now. He fights with the plusty map, fancies himself puppet master, but what happens if we cut the strings? With the colony laser in our hands, we can strike at the very foundation of Neo Zeon. I believe the data delivered by Banagher contains the location of the place's box, Your Highness. Box or not, there can be no involved doubt as, the, as to the Vist Foundation's involvement. You believe this why? Tales of the box passed down from the higher ranks of Zeon speak of the box as half a legend. Much of it is idle gossip, but I named the organization the hopes that such a thing could be out there. We welcomed Her Highness, the Foundation made contact with us. We're in pretty deep with the Federation, they get, and get a lot of special consideration because of it. Why would they do that? I can't read Cardius Vist's mind, of course. He invited me to Industrial 7 in the hopes of speaking about the box. But they got to him before he could tell the whole story. He told the unicorn passed in the hands of Vanager Lynx. And they loaded the Laplace problem on top of, onto it. The data it pointed to, it must have something to do with the box. Encrypted data, we're still part of it, but at best guess, it, that it contains a set of coordinates. Coordinates that might lead us to the box. Well, let's take the bet, it's our only clue. Full Frontal, far from having found out about the box, it's already started to mobilize. Upstand their toes, too. We'll target the colony laser now that it's in the hands of the Federation. But we have the bosun jump, and we can send our entire force directly to it. Don't you think we should blitzkrieg them while they're still in the dark about the calculation unit? It wouldn't do to let Dr. Hell's invasion on Earth go unchallenged. An amalgam has thrown in their hand an embryo. A narcissist with taste for the theatrical, they'll likely start providing tactics. It's a recipe for this. Hmm, what's wrong? A narcissist with taste for the theatrical, they'll likely start providing tactics. It's a recipe for disaster. And he's after the Dragon Clan. That means he'll be targeting UC Dimensions and Earth. Additionally, for our previous battle, it seems likely that Malcolm is working with Embryo and not Neo Zeon. Earth and space. Embryo coming from the 80 dimension to with Amalgam. That's a lot of pressing business. Not, we have no choice but to split into three. Please, send the Twafity Dadden and Mythroll to the AD dimension. Then its troops are equipped with the Lambda Driver. We'll be needed there. The so Nidus Ghost Celestial being Mythroll, the Paramail First Squadron, and the Dragon Clan are going to the AD dimension. Plus, we should have co coordinator and a co uh, turtle and coordinator Gundam together. Going up against Dr. Hell's Mechanical Beast Army will be more a game of power than speed. As such, we'll form a team of super robots with the Yamato as the mothership. That'll be teams Maz Mazinger, Getter, uh, Getter, Zambot 3, Titan 3, the Brave Express Corps, and the Eva. 
and will set the Rockhalium and Nahal Argama as motherships of the colony laser. Wilkinson and Toby had Kincaid along with Londo Bell. And the Yamanu goes with Earth with teams Basinger, Getter, Zambon 3, Dighton 3, the Brave Express Corps, and the Eva. Staying in space with Rockhalium, Nahar Argama with Tobia, Kincaid, and Londo Bell. Ptolemaeus 2, Custom, Eternal, Quathida Danon, and Nondoscope C motherships will hold. Celestial Being, Coordinators Gundams, Mithril, Paramail, and the Nondoscope. Do have that right? We're going to do with Vangnex, Huckabean, and Gurungust. You better keep them in one group for coordination's sake. Nine's tactical support just might make the difference. There you have it. Oh! Okay, I wasn't sure how this was going to shake up. So... This is a toughie. Um... If I send... Um... I'm, I was planning... Like, the two arcs I want to do... Is I want to do... Is by sending... The Yama... Sending the team down to Earth... I can accomplish, I can finish up the um, Grand Mazinger story. Going to space, I can solve the, I can finish up the Getter, the Getter, but the, uh, the uh, Gundam Unicorn story. I'm less invested with this one, but I'm going to want fin to finish um, or move further along the story with uh, uh, Full Metal Panic. I'm thinking one of these two, though, because this one appears to be more heavily weighted for um, for the uh, for Cross Angie more than anything else. Let's go with the ground troops and see if I can work at getting Shinji and Asuka and Rei leveled up. Plus uh, the ace. I am definitely going to, again, I'm planning on going back at least on my own time and replaying all of these alternate routes. I don't know if I'll play them on stream. I'll try, though. I'll, 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 I am like I'm playing all of these, but I'm going to... Let's go to Earth. Let's do hot-blooded voices. We have, no, we have no idea what to expect for this Dr. Hell. We'll be flying from by the seat of our pants. Also, actually, I'm sticking with the Yamato that way as well. I'm sticking of our pants. Nine could be just the edge we need. Understood, sir. Vangnex, Gurungust, and Huckabean will be go with the Earth team. We need you ready sooner than later. Every one of you has work to do. I'm hoping to see the big grins and all those faces the next time we see each other. Okay. So here's our team. All right. Let's start leveling up these Evangelions.
I can max out the Vangnex! And woohoo! And we gotta do a power spot. You can get new one more power part. Aha! Awesome! So I get one more. I can add a fourth. Boost my move. Let's have my barrier energy consumption. And then I'll give myself a power part. Holy crap! Well, these two of my weapons, like half my weapons are... Tempting, but I really, really want... There's something with a barrier. new dialogue hmm what's wrong nine your face is all scrunchy what's wrong nine your face is all scrunchy i can't say that i recall outputting that face hide it all you want the partner's supposed to notice those things i must say i feel ill at ease why is that well if we keep going down this road i feel that something will happen that can't be undone don't give up nine er you have to give it a hundred and ten percent there's no other way to do it you and I, we're just like sisters. Let's do it, Nine. We'll turn that frown upside down. Yes. Yes, sir. Aww. Do I have something that gets me a barrier? No. And I don't think would the Vang Ray come with a barrier? Vang next rather. Okay, the shield. No, it doesn't have a back to come with a built-in getter. Uh, built-in uh, barrier. So... Um... Oh, great, my gain does not come with a barrier. I want to give these guys barriers they don't have them already because, hey... Guess what I'll do then.
Yeah, because the mobility and targeting is a no big enough boost there. I don't want to drop that. ring because then that way you have skills that can help keep you from you know, dying uh black might gain is not deploying Land modules don't really need that. Attack is ammunition based, Oscar. I'm, I'm going to hang on to that because your barrier is based on energy, so I want to keep that. However, well, this drops your accuracy and range. Stuff, so Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. I also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.